Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess Bofferson and uh, today we're going to talk uh, a little bit more about uh, sunscreens and uh, the one I have chosen to talk about today is uh, the one from uh, La Roche-Posay and it's the one that they have made for kids and uh, the whole family can use it, they say. And uh, the reason I have chosen this one is that um, it doesn't contain a uh, titanium dioxide and a lot of sunscreens can be nice and good and so on but they contain titanium dioxide and that will leave uh, a white cast on your skin even that they say that it is the uh, nano form and uh, therefore uh, I have chosen this one and another one that does not have a uh, titanium dioxide in it either is uh, the one here from uh, Riemann P20 and that is uh, also for kids so I am trying to compare these two here and see which one is uh, better or if kind of like makes more sense to say which one suits you uh, the best and uh, that is obviously a personal choice but now we will look at uh, what is uh, in these uh, products here now if we look at the uh, ingredients list then uh, in both of them there are some of these uh, new uh, uv filters and uh, those uh, uv filters what they do is that they are much more uh, photo stable so basically you can just Put it on once a day and it should in theory last all day uh, and uh, the good thing about it, them is that they are uh, stabilizing the older forms of uh, uva filters like a uh, avobenzone which is not stable uh, in sunlight and therefore you for a sunscreen that only contains that or that as the main uh, filter uh, you need to uh, reapply uh, during the day where uh, as with uh, this one here and uh, this one here it is a uh, one application a day but that is in theory because still that those uh, these though uh, these ones are water uh, resistant uh, sand resistant and sweat resistant um, then uh, if you go into the water you will dry yourself off afterwards and Maybe during the day you will just uh, dab your forehead uh, because you're sweating and stuff like that. So for that sake, uh, you are taking over the sunscreen, so you need to reapply it anyway. But in theory, uh, these ones uh, are uh, photostable for uh, the whole day. So uh, what do they promise? Well, uh, this one promised that it is an SPF of a 50 plus and it, that is for UVB and it also UVA, uh, so UVA in a circle and that means that it's at least a third of the, the SPF. So uh, this one here is an uh, invisible spray and that is to do with uh, it does not give this sort of a wide cast. So uh, it is also a non-perfumed and uh, this one here as well does not have any uh, perfume in it so they just smell a bit like uh, chemicals but it's not overpowering. Uh, so yeah they are both for children but uh, how do they uh, perform? Uh, well uh, this one here has uh, this sort of a spray nozzle on it and uh, I would just give it a little bit of spray here so you can see how shiny it is and how well does it sink in because they actually promise that uh, this is not as greasy as a traditional uh, sunscreen but uh, well let's uh, see about that so just put a little bit on my arm here and it is very uh, if i put it on this side here maybe you can better see it it is very liquid kind of like a thick uh, milk so it is very easy to uh, distribute uh, over the skin and it doesn't have any sort of a uh, smell maybe faint of chemicals. It is very easy to uh, apply and it glides over the skin very very uh, easily and therefore uh, I will say that you should take care that you are not because it is so easy to uh, apply you're just taking a little bit and then you are smearing it over too big an area because uh, you still you need uh, two milligrams uh, per square centimeter uh, so that uh, you need to uh, keep in mind. So it just put it on like that and if you just uh, try uh, the other one from uh, Riemann on the, the other hand so we can see uh, the difference you can already see when I put it on it is a uh, much more uh, creamy it is a very thick uh, cream so it is it's easy to distribute as well but it is just a little bit thicker a bit more rigid than uh, the other one and again it has this sort of chemical smell but uh, nothing overpowering so if we just let it sit for a little while and we can come back and see if they are still um, shiny and um, greasy. So uh, at the moment they uh, look like this. So this is Riemann P20 and this one is uh, the one from La Roche-Posay. So you can see how they sort of uh, shine. 
And if I just immediately take my finger on it, it is greasy. Both of them are very uh, greasy. But uh, the one from uh, Riemann, in order to combat some of the uh, greasiness, they have uh, used uh, silica in the product and that is um, supposed to take up some of the, the greasiness. But still, um, when I tried uh, these ones uh, earlier, then I would say that still after half an hour, it's still it's still greasy. I think you need to wait a little, kind of like an hour before it's not greasy. So it's more like tolerable. So when they say that this one here is a uh, sand uh, resistant, I would say yes, it might be, but uh, that would be after an hour's time. And uh, can you wait that long if you are on the beach? Well, well, maybe some can, but um, yes, it might be better than other products, but still it is a very uh, greasy. So what about uh, if you can use it on the face? Well, uh, both of them you can uh, use on the face, uh, but both of them say that you should not put it in near your eyes. So uh, that uh, you need to keep in mind, uh, avoid the eye areas. So, uh, well, then it leaves the option that you need to have uh, sunglasses on, which is a good idea anyway. Uh, but uh, what you can do if you like to have something closer to the eyes, then uh, La Roche Per Se, they have uh, this one here, which is the one I use on a daily basis. Uh, and that has some sort of uh, anti-eye sting technology, where uh, they have not used that in this one here. So uh, what uh, are there any similarities uh, between these ones here uh, comparing to, uh, if we are looking at uh, to compare the uh, ingredients in it? Well, they differ in what they contain of UV filters, but some of the filters are uh, the same. And um, one of the filters uh, in here is something called a bisethylhexyloxyphenol metoxyphenol triacine. It's a very long word, but uh, that is one of these uh, new uh, ones. And uh, another one in here, uh, which I am both of them as well, is uh, something called a triazone, And uh, that is also one of these uh, newer uh, ones. So uh, the uh, triazone one is uh, one that uh, protects you from uh, UVB uh, rays, and uh, the other one uh, protects you from both the uh, UVA and the uh, UVB rays. So uh, yes, uh, they are of course not uh, approved by the FDA and therefore uh, you will not find it in sunscreens in America, but uh, you might find uh, the ingredient in the other products in America because uh, it is used uh, in uh, creams uh, in order to um, prolong uh, the color uh, of a certain cream, so like uh, in a foundation perhaps. So something that uh, they would like to not uh, go off uh, under UV light, so it can be used in there, but it cannot be used uh, in uh, sunscreens in America. So uh, that is uh, one thing to say. Then uh, there is uh, some other um, UV filters in here, and both of them contain uh, something called ethyl salicylate, and uh, that is uh, unfortunately on the EU's list of uh, suspected hormone disruptors. So that is not something that is particularly good, and maybe uh, it is not that good if you are putting it uh, on your kits. Now, uh, this one here has uh, another ingredient in it as well, which is called a homo salad, and that is also on the EU's list of uh, suspected hormone uh, disruptors. So again, well, not that uh, good. So it might be that in here there are two uh, of those that are uh, hormone, uh, suspected hormone disruptors. And in here, as far as I can just see, is that um, it only has uh, the uh, ethyl uh, hexyl salicylate. But it might be that it has more of that one and you maybe rather wanted uh, two different ones with uh, not that much of each uh, compared to one that has um, a lot of one of them. Who knows? So uh, some of the other UV filters, it is of course so that with uh, all these filters, we know various things at the moment, but uh, it might be that in 10 years' time we know uh, more, and uh, then there will be uh, a time maybe where we are saying we definitely don't want so and so in uh, the uh, sunscreens. But uh, yes, uh, these ones are so far deemed to be good for kids. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, there are something you should uh, keep in mind. So uh, this one here, it has a little mark at the back, and it looks like this. And that means that it is a uh, reef safe. And uh, yes, uh, it is a uh, reef safe in uh, Hawaii and um, in the uh, US Virgin Islands and in Palau as well, because it doesn't contain these uh, three uh, UV filters that are uh, problematic. So uh, what else uh, is there to say uh, about uh, these products here? Well, um, I think it's 
pretty much it. Um, obviously, there is a, a lot of uh, ingredients in it, and they can all be more or less uh, problematic, but I just mentioned uh, a few of them. And if you go in and look uh, at my arms again, you can see that maybe they don't shine uh, that much at the moment. But still, if I take my hand, uh, my finger through it, it is rigid, like uh, thick and rigid. And I would say at the moment here, if I added some sand to it, I'm pretty sure that a lot of it would uh, stick to my uh, arms. And it is a bit... Uh, sticky and greasy uh, in my uh, hands. So um, yes, hopefully uh, this was something that uh, was uh, useful uh, for you. Um, if I had to choose one, which one would I take? Well, uh, I think I would go for the one from uh, La Roche Posay and uh, I think it performs uh, better than uh, the one from um, Riemann P20. But that uh, it might be different if you have a very dry skin. It might you might feel that it sinks in much better. Uh, but um, yes, um, I, I would say um, I would uh, go for, uh, for this one here. But that is a, a personal choice. So now you kind of like saw how they perform and how easy they are to uh, put uh, on your skin. And I would say uh, this might be because it has this uh, spray nozzle on it it will be uh, easier to distribute uh, over a uh, large area but still uh, take care that you are using uh, the amount that you are supposed to uh, use so uh, yes if you would like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe and hit the bell and do all those things you must do in order to be notified when i upload uh, more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye